It's hoped today will be the start of the future, not just for the West Country, but for South Wales as well. A group called the Western Gateway has brought together all the region's key players here at the ICC in Newport to discuss how to turn the region into a net zero economic powerhouse. They're all up these escalators behind me. Ideas on the table include bringing the UK's first nuclear fusion power plants to South Gloucestershire and also finally harnessing the tidal power of the Seven Estuary for a hydroelectric plant. Catherine Bennett is the Gateway's chair. The Western Gateway is the UK's newest cross-border regional partnership made up of local authorities from both sides of the River Severn, stretching from Swindon to Tewkesbury to Cardiff to Bristol and also parts of Wiltshire. And it's all about working together to get more investment into this really important area. What we're here to talk about is the big bids, the big projects that could bring super amounts of investment into our area. Step Fusion op offers an amazing opportunity for the Western Gateway area to land a really innovative project that will deliver clean, green um, and, and safe energy for the future and keep us at the forefront of new technology. We've been working on this for many months now um, and we recently hosted a visit um, from the UK's Atomic Energy Authority. They will make recommendations to the government on where they think Step Fusion would, you know, would best be built. It was an opportunity for us to showcase the region, to, you know, to really hammer home our strengths, and those recommendations will then be made to the Secretary of State for Business um, in the next few months. You may recall, you know, going back to 2010. Uh, there was this idea of a seven barrage, and then since then we've also had um, uh, tide lagoon uh, talk of, of, of tide lagoon projects, but nothing um, yet coming to fruition. And it seemed to us that the Western Gateway, particularly because of its geography and having the Severn right at the middle of it, is probably the right body to uh, restart that conversation, recognising that uh, technology has moved on significantly in the last 12 years, recognising that. Uh, there's greater recognition of the climate emergency now and the need for clean energy and frankly the, the need for cheaper energy and more secure en energy as well. Most if not all of the ideas on the table here are for the long term. It's hoped they'll all have a positive impact on our lives but at the moment everything being discussed is just that, hope and ambition. Whether or not any of this can actually be achieved remains to be seen.